International Curlian Research Association slide and tape presentation. Curlian photography as an art and science. We dedicate this program to the general public and to the growing number of experimenters and scientists researching the broad scope and multidisciplinary potential of Curlian photography. Since 1970, a great amount of interest has been generated around the world in both scientific and lay communities of the potential application of this high voltage, low amperage photography. The interest was stimulated by disclosures in the Soviet Union that high voltage photographs of human subjects could be used to diagnose illnesses, claiming in many cases at an earlier stage than conventional diagnostic means. The disclosures were based on experiments performed by several Soviet researchers, including Semyon Kurlian and his wife Valentina, who had worked with high voltage photography since 1939. Popularization of the Kurlian's work resulted in the use of their name to describe the process. In response to interest exhibited around the world, the International Kurlian Research Association, IKRA, was founded as a non-profit organization in December 1974 at a technical seminar at Community Hospital in Brooklyn, New York. It was established for the purpose of correlating, standardizing, and promoting all phases of research into the Curlian phenomenon. This process is capable of transforming this clump of flowers and leaves into a previously unseen world of light and energy. The metal figurine transforms the unseen world graphically displayed by a photographer artist. The full range of aesthetic potential is explored unimpeded by the rigors and controls and standards by which scientists must abide. Colors dance before the eyes as a result of a short exposure to a pulse of high voltage, high frequency, low amperage electricity. Here the artist has used curly in photography to show a leaf in all new patterns. A packet of oleander leaves bears little resemblance to its physical counterpart. This photographer combined the beauty of light photography with that of Curlian photography and achieved this beautiful image. When asked what she felt when first seeing the combined print, she said, it was like a feeling of seeing beyond the actual material representation of the image. I felt I was creating the illusion of a life force of ethereal energy. She stated that the emotional feeling she gets when she works with the medium fills her with a sense of mysticism, not surreal, but something within reality that is hidden and waiting to be discovered. Another photographer artist photographing three fingers while flooding cyberchrome paper with light achieved this three-dimensional play of color and shadow. There is no camera or lens in Curlian photography. When electrically conductive subjects are placed in a high voltage, high frequency, low amperage field, there will be emission of light by a luminous corona discharge at the surface of the object. The pattern of that emission can be permanently recorded when the subject is placed on photographic film. This process is called Curlian photography. The type of equipment used varies considerably. The Verograph is an example of a piece of equipment widely used among experimenters. This schematic shows a timer-controlled high voltage supply also built and used by many experimenters. This experiment was used in a study funded by the U.S. Defense Department. A special device was used for taking fingertip photos, which holds the geometrics of the fingertip constant. Attached to the middle finger, other biomedical parameters such as galvanic skin response can be measured. This fingertip curly in photo reveals the blue and white corona seen when healthy, relaxed individuals are subjects. After only a minute soaking in warm water, the finger was blotted dry the photo changes dramatically. The major conclusion of these studies is that water plays a significant role in the study of changes seen in fingertip photos. This work was published in Science Magazine, October 1976. Fingertip photos are able to reveal changes on the surface of the skin in this photo, in the upper right area of a wart. A curly in photo of an elbow changes dramatically after an accidental shock on the elbow. Depending upon the type of apparatus and film used, relaxed individual fingertips photograph with an even blue and white corona. The same fingertip photographed during an emotionally aroused state 
changes to orange. Another individual in an angry state reveals this red blotch. Using a krypton gas-filled bulb as a stage instead of a metal electrode, this fingertip photograph shows an individual focusing on thoughts of warmth and love. With the same technique, this person's photo changes dramatically when he is feeling outrage and anger. This is a photograph of fingertips of two individuals placed side by side and asked to imagine a sexual fantasy with each other. Again, the red color of emotional arousal and a blending of their individual coronas. There are numerous studies pointing to the use of this technique to determine interpersonal relationships. This photo of two individuals angry with each other shows a bar that develops between them. Again, using a krypton-filled bulb as a stage, this fingertip photo shows two persons thinking warm thoughts of each other and a bridge develops between them. The German magazine Esotera describes an interpersonal study conducted with curly in photography. Two individuals in a psychiatrist's office were asked to put their fingers next to each other and take this picture. The top fingertip is the man's and at the bottom, the woman's. They were asked to return once a week for three weeks. A week later, they returned. The curly in photos revealed the man to be very attracted to this woman, but her corona discharge indicated she did not feel an attraction towards him. The second week revealed the man to be extremely persistent and it looked as if she might be more responsive. The third week shows two bright, happy coronas blending, or as the German caption reads, Verschmelzen, and we are told they are living happily ever after. We are not limited to fingertips. Any object or any part of the body can be photographed. Dentists are beginning to explore this technique for their own use. The front cover of Dental Dimensions reveals this tooth with a cavity in the upper left area, an inside layout shows a healthy tooth. Plant research is a primary area for curly in photography. Rapidly growing tissue at the tip of an onion root reveals a bright, intense corona. These particular plant galls, which are a type of plant cancer, hardly visible in a usual photograph, appear brightly evident via the curly in technique. This soybean is dry and ungerminated. After one day germination, Note the intensity in the area where the root will emerge. After three days, observe the root tail is now well formed in orange. Details in the root tip can clearly be observed. One of the inexplicable phenomena that a number of experimenters reported is the phantom effect. It has been repeated by many American investigators as well as investigators around the world. This ivy leaf reveals the typical corona discharge of its species. If a portion of the leaf is removed, a typical picture would appear this way. However, what occurs on occasion is a photograph of the portion that was removed. In this experiment, there is a piece of opaque plastic over the cut portion of the leaf indicating that this phantom cannot be escaping water vapor or gases from the uncut portion of the leaf. The image will even go through a barrier a mystery. Also in the area of parapsychology, the fingertip photo of Yuri Geller in a relaxed state dramatically changes when he projects his energy. The importance of healing to medicine is now becoming recognized. The graduate nurses at New York University attend classes in laying on of the hands healing. Its future in medicine awaits proper documentation by a device which should be able to record objectively this energy believed to be transmitted. The fingertip photograph of a healer at the left and her patient on the right is prior to healing. The shift is dramatic as she turns on her healing energies. This black and white photo shows at the bottom her normal state and projecting healing energy on top. Does this technique reveal energies not measurable by other means? Another area on the fringes of acceptance in medicine is acupuncture. These fingertip photos are of a man suffering from rheumatoid arthritis before acupuncture and after acupuncture. This curly and computer enhanced hand photo is from Romania. There is a great deal of interest in curly and photography in this country where it is government funded, supporting substantial research in the field. 
Their laboratory has a budget of over one million U.S. dollars a year. Researchers not only photograph the surface effects of corona discharge, but also use a technique called electronography to look through the body, and their technique enables them to scan the entire body. With a diagram of the system, you can better understand the positioning of both patient and equipment. They are also able to use a transparent electrode to transmit the information through low light level video cameras. And these images are then transmitted to a computer and displayed on a video screen such as in this view of the abdomen of a patient. Analysis of the Curlian photograph can be performed in many ways. One of those ways is through patterns recognition that can be achieved by projecting a color photograph through various filters to obtain different spectral information. One of the promising systems for analyzing the corona discharge is currently being tested in Australia. The object is placed on a transparent quartz electrode. A low light level video system is employed to transmit all the information to a device that records the intensity and plots it against a spectral analysis of the image. An inner state change will result in a change in the physiological state of the organism and result in various changes of the corona that can be due to changes in skin impedance, chemistry, skin dielectric constant, charge of the skin, and the concentration of free ions on the surface of the skin. Some individual researchers feel that the origin of the corona discharge of the fingertip is the pore of the sweat gland. The sweat response can be created by various stimuli found in the physiological makeup of the anatomy, such as mental, emotional, and or sensory areas. This diagram of a cross-section of a sweat gland reveals that if we could look at the spectral analysis of the corona discharge, we should be able to get peaks for various chemical elements. This can be registered in changes in terms of sweat gland activity and the mineral content of the sweat. Changes in the physiological state could be expressed through the sweat and the activity of the sweat glands and would affect changes in the corona discharge. The pH solutions show the differences in the photos of a fingertip buffered in the known pH value and air dried before being photographed. The use of estrogen is depicted in the series showing its effect on a 70-year-old woman and a 29-year-old woman before and after taking the tablets. The marked effect could be attributed to the effect that estrogen has water binding capacity. The effect of a particular drug, Valium, is shown on the corona discharge of a middle-aged male. There is evidence that Curlian photography can be used to determine the point of ovulation and, therefore, use it as a monitor in birth control. It can be seen on the twelfth day in the bright full corona that occurs. This may have some relationship on the secretion of estrogens. There are many other potential diagnostic uses of Curlian photography as in detecting cystic fibrosis. This study was funded by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The results of this study indicate that it is not only possible to identify patients with cystic fibrosis, but they indicated that cystic fibrosis carriers could be detected as well. The investigations were extended to double-blind studies confirming these findings. Compare the normal individual A with the cystic fibrosis patient B and the carrier C. Genetic counseling after the results of these tests can become an important factor in the future. Cystic fibrosis, a usually crippling and fatal disease, can possibly be eliminated by having it detected in advance. In one study, the coronas of 100 rats with laboratory-induced cancer of the spine and 100 healthy rats were compared, and the change in the corona is quite marked. Work done by a clinical psychologist in Wichita, Kansas, studied differences in coronas in patients suffering from cancer and in normal individuals. The differences can be readily seen in this study. Studies in early cancer detection were done at Monmouth College, New Jersey, and confirmed at Polyclinic Hospital, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The study shows a normal person's fingertip before and after washing of the hands. The corona is almost completely diminished by the action of the washing. A marked difference is shown in the study of a female patient age 53 with carcinoma of the breast and shows no change in the corona of the fingertip after washing. This holds great promise in cancer detection. 
Hopefully the study will be performed on a larger scale on a greater number of types of cancer. There has been work done not only in looking at the fingertips of people with cancer, but actually looking at the tumors themselves. An example being a benign tumor two hours after surgery. Compare the difference of this malignant tumor of the breast taken two hours after removal. In its formative stages, the International Curlian Research Association focused its attention on developing a liaison between the various segments of the international scientific community, providing a common forum for the exchange and dissemination of information, development of viable standards of equipment and research, and the attraction of other researchers to the field, as well as alerting the medical community to the potential future application of Curlian photography. To this end, in addition to correspondence, newsletters, building of a central repository of information, and arranging meetings between the various researchers, a series of seminars were also held. They were held in such prestigious places as the New York Academy of Medicine, Drexel University, National Institutes of Health, Bethesda, Maryland, United Nations, and the New York Academy of Sciences. IKRA has now received its tax-exempt status and is actively seeking funding from private sources, industry, the U.S. government, and foundations for a four-fold development program. 1. The establishment and equipping of a central research center laboratory. 2. Experimental and in-depth research projects. 3. Development of educational materials which would be made available to the educational and scientific communities via mail-outs, slideshows, tapes, in-field seminars, and specialized training sessions anywhere in the world. 4. Enlarging and upgrading the Central Information Repository and the Communications Liaison between the members of the international scientific community. Taking into consideration the progress that IKRA has made to date, with its only resources being monies derived from membership fees and its workforce of dedicated volunteers, it must be obvious that with sufficient funding at its disposal, tremendous steps can be taken in the development of this new technology. It is not improper to suggest that such development could provide dramatic breakthroughs in fields such as medicine, psychology, biology, psychiatry, and natural and material sciences, and would benefit a wide spectrum of national life, including commerce and industry, and possibly lead to the development of other technologies not yet known.